Hey, this is Ed Barrera, founder of Gravity Works and Hannah Somatic Educator. I help people overcome physical pain, reduce muscular stress and tension, and recover quickly from injury using the brain with what is known as somatic exercises where we learn how to restore comfort so we can move well for life. Do you know how somatic exercises work? Here's a video I had made with the help of Dr. Jesse Schneider. Check this out. Deep within the belly of muscles are found muscle spindles, also known as stretch receptors. They are part of the somatic sensory system and they inform us how our body is positioned and moving in space. The muscle spindles track the movement of the larger alpha skeletal muscles which surround them. When the alpha muscle fibers lengthen and shorten, the spindles stretch and shorten too. This increases or decreases the firing rate of the sensory neurons which wrap around the central portions of the muscle fibers within the spindle. So the muscle spindles detect changes in alpha muscle length or stretch. The changing length and tension of the alpha muscles are tracked in detail by the spindles. The sensory information generated by the spindles is used by the brain for making fine adjustments in its commands, improving accuracy and precision of movement. The spindles are also direct links to spinal reflex arcs, which prevent any sudden unexpected stretching of skeletal muscle. However, the spindles are not just passive measuring devices stimulated by the muscle fibers around them. They are themselves composed of muscle cells with independent power to lengthen and contract. These gamma muscle cells are innervated by gamma motor neurons. When gamma motor neuron activity increases, it causes the gamma muscle fibers within the spindle to shorten. This in turn leads to stretching of the central portion of the fiber and activation of the sensory neuron. The sensory neuron enters the spinal cord and sends branches to the alpha motor neurons. The alpha motor neurons in turn go back to the alpha muscle containing the spindle from which the sensory neuron originated. Firing of the sensory neuron causes alpha motor activity to increase, which results in contraction of the skeletal muscle. This is called the gamma loop. Although the gamma loop can cause movement on its own, it normally does not. Voluntary movement is initiated by the motor cortex. The motor cortex and the alpha neurons cause contraction of skeletal muscle. The gamma command center is located in the brain stem. It sends signals to the spindles unconsciously through the gamma loop in concert with the surrounding alpha cells. However, because the gamma loop is activated during all movements, it regulates tension during normal muscle activity. Through stress or injury, alpha-gamma integration can get out of balance, causing muscle spasms or difficulty with muscle contraction and coordination. In a process called pendiculation, we consciously and deliberately contract a muscle, and then, as we relax, we allow the muscle to lengthen again. This is what cats and dogs do when they stretch. When the muscle fully contracts, it resets the muscle spindle into balance. And as it lengthens, the balance in the spindle continues. Pretty cool, eh? By simple movement, we can actually change, like a thermostat, the resting tension level of our muscles when we mindfully pay attention to how we move. By using our conscious attention, on the intention of a movement, our brain goes to work through what is called the alpha-gamma loop or the alpha-gamma coactivation level. I know, big words. This thermostatic level is set by the brain's cerebellum. By fine-tuning our movements using the brain's cortex, we can effectively change this alpha-gamma motor neuron thermostat so it registers more towards neutral. A more neutral muscle is one relaxed muscle. Now here's a kicker. This process has been called a pandiculation, and since 1680, when Hermann Borhove, the founder of clinical medicine, noted that this act brings the muscles to rest. Today, we've systemized pandiculations as somatic exercises, so our muscles do indeed come to rest and feel very comfortable. This is Ed Barrera from Gravity Works wishing you always to move well.